Well, hello friends. In this quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this type of image where you have an image that is masked, meaning it's like clipped off into a shape, but there's also part of it that extends past the shape. It's a really cool effect that you can add on your image, like you see here with uh, my little profile picture that I've used all across the web and on email signatures. You could also use this on your website as well for graphics, for testimonials, all sorts of things. This actually stems from a question from Taka, one of my uh, members of Web Designer Pro, my web design community. And he asked how I created this effect. So uh, instead of just sending it to him, I uh, said I'd make a tutorial out of it for you. Now I'm going to use Canva for this, but just know this same principle can be used on Photoshop, Illustrator, or whatever you'd like to use. Um, been using Canva a lot more, and I'll have a link below if you're interested in using Canva yourself. I, but I also use Photoshop and Illustrator. So what we're going to do is recreate this same type of image. I'm going to pull in a picture here, just a recent shot. And what we're going to do is create this same type of look. Again, that has, we'll use the circle, and then has uh, part of my head popping out. But the rest of it is like masked inside this circle. So I've got this image in here. Now with Canva, there's a few different ways to do this. I'm, there may be a better way. I'm no Canva expert. But what I have found easiest to do in this case is to search for frames. Frames will give you these shapes that you can put pictures and images and assets into. So I'm going to click the circle. And you'll notice now with this circle here, I can move my image. And as soon as I move it into that circle, it automatically masks that. So that's a good start, but you'll notice my head is not popping outside of the borders yet. So if I double click the image, I can now expand my image here and we'll put my head outside the circle. We got to keep the Web Designer Pro logo in there. So let's do something like that. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. And there we go, off to a good start, but my head is chopped off. You might be thinking I'm really balding. I'm not really balding, I wanna show my hair. So what I wanna do is take the image where it's placed right now and then have it on top of the circle and just clip part of it to give that effect. A couple of different ways you could do this as well. Uh, what I'm gonna do, because you could go in here and duplicate the image itself, you could do it like that. Side note, if you have a lot of images or a lot of different assets on one design, you could go into position and layers and find it here as well. So this is super handy. But the problem remains that this is still clipped. This took that exact setup and just duplicated it. So what I'm going to do is I want to just uh, detach the image. Oh, did it again. It happens sometimes. And now you can see I've got like the two elements here. So I've got this element, which I don't need. I'm going to delete that. And now all I have to do is kind of put this on top of there. Now, the sizing, that's kind of a pain that happens right there. I think you could lock this. We can lock this, right? Let's go lock. And now, there we go. Yeah, now that's not going to uh, zip inside that circle. So I'm going to place this there, but you're like, well, that's not very helpful, Josh. I can't see it all. Here is the big trick. Here is the magic. So what is actually what brought me into Canva was this very trick, this very tool, which is their background remover. Still one of the best in the biz. I'm going to select the image, hit background remove, and then bam, boom, there we go. Now I can line myself up as close as I can. Let's just look for the chiseled jaw. There we go. Looking pretty good. Going to line that up. And now I'm still extended on the bottom, but if I take this little remover right here, I can just crop in on that. And if we zoom in, I'm pretty close. My shoulders are still kind of extending. So we'll go there. We'll drop it down. And there we go. Easy as that, my friends. Let's bring all of this up a little bit. Actually, we need to unlock this. Let's bring all the elements up. We could even command G and group them all together to make this one little unit we could move around. And that's exactly how you create this effect. Now, when you save this out, this is the next big part to this. Get it as close as we can to kind of a squared image. When I export this, I want to make sure that I download a PNG. And you want to make sure that you save it as a transparent file. JPEGs, if you didn't know, will not save as transparent. So it needs to either be a ping. Uh, you could also do an SVG uh, or a GIF. That would be huge. So uh, download that. And that's going to give me a transparent file, which I could then put on, again, profile images, 
could put it on an email signature, which is how I use this. You could throw this on your website if you want to have overlays. I highly recommend doing this for you web designers as well for case studies and testimonials. It's a really cool way to make an image that looks a lot more interesting because it's like masked and cut off, but also kind of exceeding the 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 line here. And actually, let me take you into Web Designer Pro because I guess this has a, a name. Eric, thank you for pointing this out. Breaking the fourth wall. So I wasn't familiar with this. Maybe it's a photography term or something. But we broke the fourth wall, my friends, on this. Again, this is how to do it in Canva. But the same idea and principle will work on Illustrator, Photoshop, whatever you're using. And last thing I'll mention is if you go into uh, Canva and like this, actually, let's Let's ungroup first. The most important thing with any of this is to remember that you're going to have two layers. You're going to have a layer that's underneath that is masked. It's going to have that circle. And then you'll have a layer on top that should be transparent. And then you could just cut off the, the section of the picture uh, that you want hidden. And it is easy as that. So I hope you found this helpful. If you'd like to try this out yourself and you're not yet a Canva user, I have a link for you. You can go to joshhall.co slash Canva to check it out. And yeah, can't wait to see your designs and to see how you use this for your web design business. Cheers, friends.